Hello and welcome back to Astro Colony. In our last episode, we uh, set up some of this automation here and have uh, the power right now being run in through the floor so that we can keep it a little bit cleaner here. We do have iron uh, being smelted here. I have some, had some in my inventory for some reason. Um, so what items by resources order? Ooh, I like it. I think I like it. We'll see. Maybe I will. Transport bot requests. I didn't notice this before either. Add request to resources. Oh, so I can hey, I can say hey bot. Hey bot. Let's go see. Uh, do I have anything being having been crafted? Some copper wire. So if I say, oopsie. Uh, inventory. No. No. Wait, wasn't it here? Check all. Wait, what's... Was I in this? Oh, I was in this. Okay. So if I say, hey, bot, bring me something to this machine. Will it bring me to that machine? Or should I actually have it say, hey, bot, bring me some... Bring me some copper plate to this machine because you made it from copper... Even better. Let's say, hey, bot, bring me some uh, copper ingots. Uh, just... 10. Now, will you do the thing? Where'd he go? I forgot where he's at. Oh, he's doing the thing. Nice. Oh, that is awesome. He's taking a sweet time, though. I don't know why he goes to the output slot, but okay. That works. I like it. I'm going to um, cancel it. Because I don't necessarily want him to do that specifically. He's going to keep bringing something. That's fine. That's fine. I have another thing I want to show. Uh, and that is down here um, at the coal hole. Uh, let's set up. Yes, I set it that way on purpose. Let's uh, grab the drill so we can take a look at this again. And I want to put the drill somewhere like this or this. Uh, I'm not going to be super picky about which way it goes. But somewhere like this or this. So let's grab uh, some flooring. And let's do something like this. All right. And then drill again. That, as I have learned, is how you do this correctly. Thank you to... Uh, I forgot. Somebody in chat uh, for, telling, for telling me how to do that. Because, um, yeah, I didn't get it for the first multiple times. Uh, let's go ahead and just connect power up here and then we can do that and then you can have i have no fuel zoom zoomy zoomy zoom uh let's see i should have some here yes i do nice oh, i gotta get that iron out of that one too we need to set up some more of those today i think uh, let's throw some of this fuel in here or all of this fuel in here It'll produce the power we need for here. Uh, someone else pointed out that, hey, I need more power in my old network, and they are correct. This only produces 10, assuming it has any at all, uh, which it doesn't. Oh, that's not what I wanted you to do. Or that's not what I wanted me to do, I should say. I need to steal some from here. Uh, this only produces 10, and like this, this consumes one, this consumes four, this consumes two, so right now we're already up to uh, seven. That over there consumes six when it's running. I mean, they don't consume anything when they're... Or they do consume when they're not running. Okay. Uh, apparently. So that's what this efficiency means, by the way. Is um, they're not running at full efficiency because there's too much crap connected to the network. So we need to have either more power produced on this here. Or a smaller network. Um, or get rid of this network entirely and just do um hello and just or just do uh just move over to this network which is what we're going to do um so while that coal is on the surface still drilling out let's do um a bit more foundation here i think i'm going to do a different color not k not l k uh sorry floor not foundation i was also corrected that foundations are different and that we don't use these foundations down on the surface um let's do the uh what do we have here these are 
Floor orange right. These are floor metal 13. These are floor metal 5. Okay. Okay, we're going to do those. And I'm going to put them in out here. Uh, let's see. We need to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to go out 6. We'll just come this way. Or go out... Go out 4. Like that. And then I'd like to have another... Um, auto catcher, which I don't have enough iron plate for now. That's what I should have said said to automate was the iron plate making. If I want to do something with these guys, I should just do that. Let's make... Um, I can have those. Uh, let's make... Uh, 50. That'll be good. Let's go pretty quickly, but again, 77% efficient. And so the plan will be to take a belt out of the iron here and connect it up to places that need iron ingots. I.e. this place. I don't think this place does. No. Um, and any other places that might need iron ingots, we'll, we'll take out of there. Uh, we also need to store the iron ingots, though, probably for me, maybe. Because I think some of the crafting that I've been that I have been doing um, of certain buildings takes ingots directly. Yeah, like these. So I do need to have storage for that. Um, what I think I will do is probably just do a splitter and have half of it go into storage, half of it go into making plates. Since I don't think there's a limit to how much you can have forced into a machine or forced back out of. Uh, feel free to um, tell me how to do that if you if you if it is possible and you know how. All right, let's do uh, not power. Uh, one of the outputs. Let's do the power maybe on this side. That'll be good, right there. Okay, and then I can uh, delete this. And then I can run power again. If I had, didn't I pick up a bunch of cable? I thought I picked up a bunch of cable. I never picked it up because I thought the bot was gonna deliver it to me and it didn't. Okay, uh, let's go here then. Two of those. Excuse me. Excuse me. And then we'll go this way. Really? That's where I ended? Of course it is. I should have set up more while I was over there. Give you a bunch. I guess I need to give you a bunch of copper then, too, to make more copper plates. Give me a bunch of those. Oh, and we talked about the tutorials a little bit, too, in the chat. And I, the solution I think we came up with in the end was that... Um, or the solution I came up with based on the chat, I should say, is that the mine is a building available in the tutorial. In the, in the demo, excuse me. But the drill that I'm using is not. So I think maybe the tutorial here is based on the demo but not based on the newer version or the changes made in this beta version. Speculative. Do not quote me on that. Uh, but I think that's what I'm... I think that's what I'm following or that I'm gathering from things that were sent. Give me those. Uh, you can have those. I'll give you a couple more of these. Oops, not those. How do I cancel that now? Oh, that's it. Okay. There we go. Although, actually, I actually have plenty of iron wire, so I don't need any more of that stuff. Let's do this, and let's go down here, and let's grab this. My uh, power network is going to be a spaghetti mess. It's fine. All right, now you should be able to start grabbing as well. And you're pointed in a different direction, which is part of my reasoning here. Uh, good, you've, you've captured, and now we need to do a belt. Uh, let's do... I can't see the arrow. There. Go there, please. All the things go into there, and it gets just added into the sorting algorithm as before. Um, I'm going to look at this again. Yeah, I don't see any way to like block off these bits. 
I don't see any... Um, any way to say, hey, only give me just so much. So, as far as I can tell, it's going to fill up all these stacks before it stops. And I don't even know what one stack is. Because we have 390 dirt in one stack here. The other thing I haven't been able to deduce is how to fill up those holes on the planet, if it's even possible, with dirt. I can fill them up, obviously, with flooring, or level them off with flooring here. Or, um, you know, whatever else. But it's still digging, but it's only digging dirt. Do I want it to continue digging dirt? Probably not. All right, let's uh, well, let's, let's do a scan quickly. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, uh, then let's do um, let's do this. Oops, uh, from here. Here we go. Delete. Yeah, you can't remove the uh, um, quartz rock. Yeah, that's right. Let's see, how, is there a way to tell, I wonder if there's a way to tell how, just how deep some of these veins are. Um, or if I should just stick with the surface facing ones for now. Is that also coal? It is. Okay, let's build another mine or a drill here. And let's get it to cover as much as possible. Which would be, ooh, that could actually be... Actually, I don't know if it can do the nearest tile or not. I think it should. It looked like it only did a... Well, we'll see. Let's do it here. And then we'll put up a power thingy. Be over... Ooh, right here. Then I can just do one wire. And then we'll just give you whatever coal I have. Uh, no, we're not giving you whatever carbon I have. Uh, you can have... Let's do a split. You can have, like, 20. That's a good number. I have a lot of carbon. Where did I get all that carbon from? Oh, from picking up the drill. There. Alright. Uh, so let's do another one of these here now. Um, can I... I wish you could clone. You could say, hey, I want to take this... And I want to use it to build with. But I don't see the way to do that. Um, or did somebody tell me how to do that? Somebody might have told me there's a there's a key for that. Uh, let's go into the, the key bindings. Uh, you for upgrade. Now that's what they told me. Was there a... Is there another? Nope. Not that I saw, at least. Um, so that would be a nice feature, um, I think, would be to be able to clone a an object. There we go. Uh, so that you don't have to... Like, I could click here, and I could say, hey, clone. Like, uh, stick. I don't know. C is a bad example because it's scan, but press a button when you're selected on here to clone that to clone that uh, building or that whatever it is. Um, oops, I keep pressing the wrong things again. Let's go in here then. Uh, mining in here. Need more plates. I think we made some. I can make more. Apparently, I did not. That'll be it for the iron ingots that I have. And there's only a few in here. And I don't want to make them by hand because they're more efficient made here. So, efficiency is good. I think that's enough now. Uh, let's see. K. Nope, I need one more. There we go. I also have stuff to recycle, which will get me more because some of those were those floor. We didn't delete the flooring. Never mind. But I do also have stuff to recycle. Uh, I want to do this one opposite the other one. That way it points in a different direction. That way they can pick up the... Uh... I'm just going to do this this way, I think. Because there's nothing else going to go in between there anyway. Uh, they're just going to do the um, do the opposite ways. That way they can pull an asteroid from different directions. I think that's logical. Um, 
feel free to tell me it's not also in chat. And I'm gonna run these this way if I had the plates for it, which I do not. Mm, I'll grab the last two you're gonna make. There we go. So I guess that could be what the toolbars are used for, changing the toolbar, uh, the what's occupied on each toolbar. But I don't know what I what I feel like I need. Oh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Let's do. Um, what about? What if I click these out? And then those out as well. What if I use belt up, belt down? Now it's still doing it. Dang it. That means that these should have been put out one more space because I don't want to use up this slot. I don't think, or do I care? Either way, I gotta change this, so I'll take this out. And let's go do some recycling because I've got a lot of recycling to do. Yeah, we could just use this slot, I suppose. I was hoping to not use this side at all. But I can always go up and over if I need to bring an output out here. Oh, I need the uh, stuff. Pick this stuff up. Pick this stuff up. Oops, there we go. Okay, and that'll do for that. Uh, yep, still a ridiculous amount of dirt. Did I make more copper wire? I did. Good. Okay. So, uh, that should help with our materials gathering a bit. Uh, we should have a bit more iron coming in. Yes, we do. I think we can take this down now. And then, of course, also uh, these. Oops, not that. These here. I can dump the items that were in here into uh, this one instead. Uh, things like uranium that I don't know how to use, titanium and quartz that I don't know how to use. Uh, we'll put the iron ore in there, too. The dirt can definitely go in there. I'm going to leave... I'm going to keep some carbon, but I don't need that much carbon. So I think I'll give you, say, this stack, that, this... Ice as well. Although maybe I should go see if I can feed this while I have some on me. Not that. This. No, not that. This here. Yeah, let's feed some of that here. We're going to eventually move this too, but I need to keep oxygen being produced here. Because guess what? We're out. Uh, we need to have some oxygen tanks being made. I don't necessarily want that turned down permanently. I, I don't... Unless you guys know a way to limit how many of something is made... If you do, please tell me, of course. We, without, I mean, like saying, hey, make a stack or make a something and then stop, other than doing this, because I'd like it to maintain a level, as opposed to saying, hey, make this many. Uh, but I don't know if that's, oh, if that's possible or not. Um, but yeah, if it is, please tell me. All right, so we have a belt of iron uh, bars that are come out of here. I'm assuming I'll have to put a filter there because otherwise, well, we can test it, but otherwise I'm just guessing that whatever's in the first slot is going to come out of there. Uh, maybe not. Well, what if I pick up all of these? That would be the smart way to do this. No. Okay. It knows what items that it wants for inputs and it doesn't let you take any of those out. Convenient. Convenient. Good. Okay, so we'll put belts in here then. I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna put another one down yet, but I'm also not gonna delete that one because it's in the right spot enough. 
Uh, but I guess that also applies then for crafting. Like, how do you tell this machine that you've made enough iron plates, please stop? From an automatic... Automatic? That was weirdly worded. An automatic input. Um, that's what I would like to know. Um, until then, let's see. Let's put... We need to put some of these down, these constructors. Um, we should probably put them somewhere. Uh, let's see here. Device. Constructor. Let's see, that's output. Inputs are on either side. Power is there. Only one spot for power. Could I do something like big sucker here. Maybe I need to go out a bit then and have them face inward and have the uh, copper one be like this somehow. These must be able to take in two items so that, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Excuse me, my voice is getting a little rough there. Um... I was thinking they may they have two inputs because they could take two items in, but that's not the case, which it is for the uh, smelters, by the way, because um, like the iron rod recipe here is uh, it has two items in, so I'm assuming you you input those items into both uh, both slots. So let's do uh, let's just do another constructor then. Or it could go like this, but then it's going to block the output for the uh, copper a little. Could do an... Now, I need to do an outward-facing one like this. So, let's do like... Here. Then we'll do another one over... Here. Go away, robot. I mean, I think you can shut it off, too. some way. It was in the settings or something. Uh, we need to punch through here for the power. Here. We'll, uh, we'll split these and put them into a small bin, I think, um, for my nefarious purposes. That'll be a storage container as opposed to a base warehouse. Also, if you could lock slots, that would be a, uh, if you know how to lock slots, that would be a interesting thing too. So say I only wanted like one stack of iron in this, how would I do that? If at all possible. I don't think it is. Thinking in uh, Factorio or whatever terms now. Um, oh, you can swap those. Okay, that's nice. In case you put it down wrong. Let's do a belt here. Then we're going to go this way. And this way. And then I want a sorter block or a splitter block here. And then once I have power up for you, you'll be uh, making iron plates. And the same thing for you. Uh, we're going to do a... Oh, that's this here. That would be easier. Use your toolbar. Uh, we'll do it right here. Should be fine. And then this will come out. I guess just one. This can go here. Here. And here. And then we can do... Splitter block. Right there you go. And then we can go underneath and run some power. Uh oh, oh, there it is. I was going to say, uh oh, it's in the middle of my origin, colony origin block here. Nope, not, not quite. Uh, let's do this. Can I, oopsie, can I target the correct thing there? 
no. Okay. So come out this way then. This one will go this way then. And I can just fix this here. And I've just connected the two power networks together. Unintentionally, but... Also, maybe who cares? Eh, maybe not. Maybe not who cares. Uh, because, yeah. Although I don't need this anymore now. Uh, we've made all the things that we... Oh, we don't have, we aren't making steel screws yet, but... Um, I could make those by hand. Or not make them by hand, but force them into one of these to make them. That would be fine. Um, but you're doing your thing. Do I need the robot assembler anymore right now? I don't think I do. I'm going to take that down too. Because it's just sucking power from the base. That helps. And then we can do these manufacturers too. Now that we have these, we can make the wire. But again... I want to be able to um, split the wire. Or split the plates so that only some of it goes to wire. And I want to be able to limit how much. And you can't. I mean, resources from asteroids are effectively endless anyways, but yeah. Uh, we do need to put a research lab back up too, and even temporarily maybe, um, just to keep just to keep things going with that. Uh, where is that at? Not there. Is that you there? It is. All right, let's go ahead and put a, put the lab back up temporarily because I it was in my way earlier, but I think I can work with it now here, and then we can do some more um, some more engineering research, which means that we can also then do some tech unlocking and i was suggested also to unlock docking so let's do that oh well it's done already uh let's do parts gets us gears and electronics and but the docking is what we needed to have in order to get uh the, the colony and planets uh, to each other and it's required for astronauts arrival so we definitely want to do um we definitely want to do some, some to dock our uh, our little whatever you call this. I guess they call this a space colony to the uh, to the asteroid or to the planet that we have uh, down below. So we need to we need to move this down. I don't think I deleted the thrusters yet. Um, and then we can move it. Uh, and then we can we can make these docks and dock it. Uh, let's just, let's go let's go look at the dock first though, because. I don't know how it works. Docking station. Okay, so it needs to be put on the edge like this. And then I guess you put one on the planet, but we need to probably get this closer. And I would probably take this down, maybe. Uh, maybe I'd want it over here. Where I should have it is here where all the resources are coming in. Because that's what it's going to at least partially be for. So maybe I make this a little bit bigger to put these on. Hmm. Either way, I think we need to fire up the thrusters. I did delete them. Fire up the thrusters and push it down. Alright, thrusters then. I'm going to just do one. Should be fine. Uh, how do I want this oriented? Is that going to be okay? Maybe. Is that going to be okay? Probably. But let's turn the power down. Way, way, way down. And let's do a downward thrust. Basically 100%. I wonder if this will crash. One way to find out. I also need to worry about that, so maybe I should move this a little bit. Definitely moving downward, though. Yeah, let's push it. Let's push it over here. 
so we can get it kind of get off the edge of the map a little bit give me a bit more thrust here interesting i just noticed this if you're up here above the, the platform you move at the platform as soon as you move some distance away I'm trying to find out what that distance is oh as soon as you move off of being above one of the platform pieces interesting let's do um Let's actually do this a bit. Actually do that. Okay, let's uh, stop the thrust. And let's see about these docking stations now. I'm just going to put it here. I may not like to keep it here, but I'm going to put it here. Are you not going to give me a tutorial on how to dock? Imagine opposite dock found. Okay, so I do need to put another one. How do you put the other one? You put the other one below it? Do I need to put down some platform stuff first, apparently. Some flooring. Okay, let's put down some flooring. Putting it on that rock was probably not my best bet. Get rid of this rock. It's all quartz. And it's just dirt. Let's see. Now I need some more uh, plates. Which are here. All the plates. I build a few more of these like that. And then let's do a couple more this way too. Okay, and then a dock. Not what I wanted. Okay, you don't seem to like that. Still. Do you need to have foundations under it? I don't think so, because it was going to let me put it here. Why can't I place it? Can I place it anywhere on this planet surface? Hmm. There are some places here. Oh, it's got to be on a hill? Oh. Well then, I guess we will put it up here on a hill. So we're going to need to move over here then. Which means I need to... How do you rotate your station thing? If you can't, maybe we should just put it on that side. But then I'm going to need another thruster to orient in the other direction to move the base this way. That's fine, I suppose. Oops. Let's try that. Uh, let's do this, this, and let's put the thruster in here arbitrarily a little bit. Oops. And okay, now we're moving that way, and we need to make it mostly move uh, west. Nope. Rather west. This way. And actually, I can add this one into it as well. So we're zooming along now. 
Uh, you can have a bit less uh, less right thrust, and I'm going to shut you down a little bit here. So we're zooming pretty fast with that. Power it off. We need to come down a little. Now, let's see, that's going to be... Need to go right some more. Or thrust there. And maybe I should actually shut this one off. Let's use this one. Uh, I want you to go left just a bit. But I want it to mostly go toward the mountain. I think. That's kind of what I want to happen, at least. Shut it down. It's almost exactly where I want it. If I'm right. If I'm wrong, well then, what are you going to do, I guess? Uh, let's see. I want to try and center it here. That looks centered there, so we need to... I wanted to build it so that I could see. Actually, will this just let me... Yes. Okay, good. It'll dock itself. What's up, Doc? Okay. That's a dock. We have... Okay, so now there's inputs and output lines. This is how you get stuff to and from the base. Which is a bit of an issue here, but maybe I can do a little bit of this. That was too much. Maybe I can fill it in with uh, with some flooring. Sure, I can. Take some of this mountain out too. It kind of reminds me of Space Engineers a little bit with the uh, the terrain remolding itself. I'm really bad at this part, by the way. In case you hadn't noticed. And then let's do some flooring here, maybe. Looks like it might have a little bit more... No, it's fine. Let's go from there. Let's use the center as an origin point. And then go there if I had all enough stuff. Alright. Well, that'll work anyway. To get me started. Get my idea started, at least. Speaking of which, let's come over here and check this out. Yep, you've done a boring job. Good job. Uh, give me this. I guess I can do that as well. Might as well recycle it and use it somewhere else. I think I took down the iron and... Uh, I think I took down the iron and the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, um, copper. Looks like I did. If I'm in the right spots, of course. So, how do these work? Line one is in, oh, there it is. There's a belt now. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's, it's whether you want the four belt lines that would appear across here to be inputs or outputs. Okay, let's destruct that one. So you can do an another one there, like that. So I wonder now if I had how far or how close these bridges can be, these docks can be, and maybe then, you know, moving the thing away. Let's do an undock real quick here. Let's come over here and grab this thruster. I just want to do some experimentation because this is my first time. Let's go this way. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why are you going that way? Why did you turn? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so now we need to go back uh, that way. No, wrong way. This way. A lot.
Okay, I'm nearly centered. Let's do a dock here just to... Oh no, it does need to be that close because it's forcing it to be that close. Okay, well then, never mind. All right, well, now we know that we can do that. Uh, someone also told me that you can fire up the thruster here and drag the planetoid with you. I don't know how we could tell that easily enough. Oh, wait. Are all the asteroids... Are all the, yeah, the little asteroids... They're all moving in that direction, so we are actually moving very, very slowly. We might be able to do the, see the same from the mine. It doesn't show me my my ship anymore because it's docked, I guess. But uh, you can indeed apparently move your ship or move your your uh, planetoids. Turn this off. There we go. Uh, so I think this was a good episode. We did a little bit more. Um, automation uh, we're gonna probably need to automate a bit more on the power front because yeah um or not automate a bit more but run a bit more po lines for power i did not plan this very well so i'm gonna have to move them as well out a bit which is a bummer because i did all that other work um but uh that's fine we'll we'll do it anyway we'll figure it out anyway uh, well or i could go up over and then down maybe here uh, I'll have to put a space in to do that. Uh, we'll figure that out next time. So we have a planet now docked with our with our space station, so we can continue our research toward getting the um, toward getting astronauts. Uh, we have a couple more things to do. It appears, and we are gathering a few asteroids at a time here. Um, and as far as I can tell, it does not ever stop uh, bringing in new things and. Um, and keeping everything going here. So uh, let's actually give you this and that. Uh, stone, you can have that too. More dirt. Actually, let's do this. Oh, we're already done with that. Uh, so we're going to leave this here. And in the next episode, we'll play around with this some more. Maybe do some more uh, research toward the getting the astronauts. And uh, also work more on our automation. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you then. Bye for now.